of figuring out this whole mom thing. Monday we are starting off a little week in my life vlog and today is such a fun day because we are headed to the zoo it is Connor's first time at the zoo it is so so nice out today I'm excited I have all of our stuff already packed and I'm trying to time it to where he will nap in the car hopefully so but yeah this is also probably my first day as a mom trying to go out with my hair down I always have my hair up and out of my face because it honestly is just so annoying and he is in the stage right now of really pulling my hair and so we'll see if my hair ends up staying down right now but I can't wait today's gonna be such a fun day I'm not sure what the rest of the week holds and for my outfit for today I have this bandana scarf in again I'm not sure if this is gonna stay in but this is from Madewell and then my overalls are from free people and then I have on just a brown bodysuit that is from nudes for his outfit I ordered a few of these little I don't know what these are technically called but they're these I think they're bubble tees, they're little onesies, and these are so cute and just comfy. I'm pretty sure I got those from Amazon, but I'll link those down below. They're super, super comfy. I also ordered him a little sun hat that I'm gonna have him wear too because it's been so sunny lately. Hi, can I get a grande cold brew with just a light splash of whole milk? So much fun at the zoo. We ended up being there longer than I expected. It was pretty much all day. It's like 3.15 now and he did so well. He loves being out and about. It was a little bit warmer than I had expected today. So I was glad I brought his stroller fan with us, but we had a ton of fun on our first zoo outing with him. Aiden is headed home from work here soon. And so I think I want to have him pick up some stuff that we'll use to make dinner tonight. I'm trying to figure out what I want to eat tonight. Also want to pick up the place a little bit. I think I left it kind of as a disaster today. So do a little tidy up of the house. <gasps> oh, he's so cute. Tuesday morning, it's about 6.30 right now. Connor was hardly up last night, but he woke up at five o'clock this morning, which for me is just too early to start my day. And so I could tell he was still tired too. So I just fed him, put him back down and he's been sleeping for about an hour or so. So we'll see when he gets up for the day, but I'm gonna make some breakfast while he's still asleep right now. I'm so behind on this because I just haven't been on social media, but I've been making the pancake in a bowl that you do in the microwave lately. It's so easy and quick, especially when I'm trying to do a quick Kind of mom breakfast and i think i'm gonna make that this morning i just do really simple half a cup of each put it in the microwave for a couple minutes i'm gonna put some chocolate chips in there and then top it with peanut butter i don't really have fruit i wish i had bananas that would be good to put on top gonna make that and then try to read my bible before he gets up for the day okay not the prettiest breakfast but it really is tasty
are about to head out of the house, but we're just doing some playtime here for a second. I mentioned on Instagram that one of the videos I really want to do, I'll probably do this in an entire other video, is products that I really enjoy having for him versus things I regret buying. It is so overwhelming when you become a first time parent trying to figure out the right, you know, just in general things to have, but especially toys. There are so many toys out there. And we actually just got our Panda Crate from KiwiCo, which is always very, very exciting. And I'm so thankful to be partnering with them on today's video. I shared in a recent video how we've been paying for our own Panda Crate for the past bit, so it just felt like the perfect fit. Essentially, they help create engaging activities for your baby just to help them learn and develop for whatever age group that they're in. We actually have their Panda Crate Plus and it's $80 a crate and that is a bi-monthly shipment. And that comes with three to six stage specific play items and one grow with me toy play item. And I also have a code, you guys can use my code Michelle Reed and that will get you 20% off your first Panda Crate. They also have their Panda Crate Essentials and this is $50 a crate. There's also the Panda Crate Deluxe and this comes with everything in the Panda Crate Plus along with the book and this one's $90 a crate. You can also preview the crates before beforehand so you can see exactly what you're going to get, which I personally like. I like knowing what I'm gonna get instead of having just kind of a surprise box. They also come with a wonder play guide and this is really, really nice as a parent to kind of learn about what these activities are meant to do how you can play with your baby to best promote their development and growth. I'd say that we like to have a balance of allowing him to have independent play and then also playing with us. And there also are crates for every single age group too, even if you have older babies or older kids, even teenagers, there's really something for every age group, which I love. You can seriously be on the floor playing with everything in his crate for an hour. It's so nice to kind of give me some time to get some things done, but also for me to be able to play with him too at the same time. Yeah, it's so special as a parent seeing him learn too, just over over the last few months how he just has so many different skills that he didn't have when he was a newborn. Although I will say that they do have crates that are also good for newborns too. You could start off super early. Yeah, again, we have been paying for our Panda Crate far before this video. And so we are huge KiwiCo fans. And again, you guys can use my code Michelle Reed and that will get you 20% off your first Panda Crate. It'll be linked at the top of the description box. It's about noon now and Connor and I are about to head into Lowe's. We are gonna pick up some flowers that I wanna plant. I typically, whenever I run errands with him, I kind of time it for his naps because he sleeps really well in the car. And so I really haven't taken him out a lot of places awake at this point. And so we're gonna see how this goes. This is definitely gonna be a first for us. I'm also gonna wear him. I typically have him in a stroller. I don't normally baby wear him whenever I go into stores, but I wanna have both my hands. So we're gonna see how this goes. But again, it's so nice outside and I really want to revamp our place for spring. So we're gonna see what we can find. I will share the flowers that we ended up getting. He did so well there. And then on the way home, he ended up falling asleep, which he always falls asleep in the car. I'm really thankful he loves car rides. He is generally very happy in his car seat. He doesn't love being put in it, but once we're driving, he's fine. And so he fell asleep and it was still probably an hour before his nap that he was gonna take. And so I just drove around and he took a 45 minute nap. But I do think that we're gonna try to plant our flowers. I think Aiden might do something with him when he's off of work. So I might wait till he has Connor. I have this picnic blanket I've been setting down for him to play outside, but it's kind of warm today. So I'm not sure if we'll do that, but I would like to plant them today. I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because Aiden's on a call right now. But before I had Connor, I definitely thought that I would try to stick to a schedule just because I'm a very routine scheduled person. But I can just say that seeing all of those, you know, four month old schedules online, whenever you Google wake windows and all that, and just in general, I would try to stick to those and it would drive me crazy because he would fall asleep in the car or his crib nap would be 27 minutes like they typically are. And now I'm just really going with the flow. Things are just gonna be how they're gonna be. We kind of try to stick to bedtime, I would say for the most part, our little routine that we have, but yeah, I just figure that he knows when he's tired, he knows when he needs to fall asleep. And on that note, in general, I just really started enjoying motherhood and spending time with my baby when I stopped Googling everything. That was the thing that was the worst for my postpartum anxiety 
especially like that first month coming home. I'm also really thankful that so many of my siblings are parents too. So now I really try to just text them. My sister Lindsay also had a baby two weeks after me. And so our kids are so close in age, which has been so nice. Just texting her, is Ruby doing this? Is this normal? It's also her third baby. So she's just much more chill about things. I really believe that God gives us instincts, especially when it comes to parenting. And so I've been trying to lean into trusting those instincts and of course praying and seeking advice from other parents that I look up to. And things are just so much lighter and so much more fun that way. And I've just really, really been <laughs> enjoying everything so much more since making that shift. But yeah, we'll see what we do for the rest of the day. I would also like to fold some laundry. I'm washing our sheets too. I needed to put some fresh sheets on the bed. So I'm just gonna do some chores around the house. It's a really, really beautiful day. So I would also like to spend some time outside, but we'll see what happens. Here is a haul of all the flowers that we got. We got some hydrangeas. I didn't really mean for everything to be pink. It just kind of turned out that way. And then we have a bunch of others. I'm gonna plant some of these in the backyard. And then some of these are gonna go in some pots in the front yard. So we'll see when we have time to do this, but everything looks so pretty there. Yes. You what? You want it? Yeah. Yeah. We just woke up from a nap. I ended up just laying down in bed with him too at the same time, so. It is about five o'clock. I think we're gonna go for a little family walk around the neighborhood. My hair is absolutely crazy right now, but I really wanna try to make dinner tonight, so hopefully that'll happen too. I don't think I'll have time to do my flowers today, but we'll just do that tomorrow or whenever it gets done. This is mom life. I feel like you have to pick one thing a day that you have time for. Happy with the yep. here and now. are always so quick because always making dinner doing his bedtime routine putting him down and then i really just have a couple of hours an hour and a half at night before i usually head to bed to get as much sleep as i can and i'm putting our duvet on it's so nice having fresh sheets i've been needing to do that for a while but i'm gonna put this on take a shower eat dinner watch a show with aiden hang out and then hit the hay Morning. It is Wednesday morning. It's about nine o'clock right now. We are about to go take Mr. Cash for a walk, take both the boys. And then after this, I think I want to stop by Old Navy and look at some spring clothes for him because I've just kind of had him in the same outfits lately and he goes through a lot, a lot of clothes. And so I want to see what they have there. I feel like Old Navy has been my favorite for baby clothes because it's pretty affordable and they have really cute stuff. Sometimes boy clothes can be kind of hard to find cute stuff. I figure we could stop by there and then I would love to plant those flowers after that. It's really, really nice out today and it's not quite as sunny. So I'm thinking I can just set down the picnic blanket, have him play and then I might go ahead and plant those. So I am wearing another bandana. This one is from Madewell. And then this bodysuit that I'm wearing is from Nudes. I love Nudes for all their basics. I actually wanna order some more stuff from them because I've been wearing a lot of their stuff lately. And then these shorts are from Zara. I would love to self tan sometime because I'm definitely looking pretty pale right now, but that is the fit for today. <laughs> We 
are back home. Wanted to share the things that I picked up from Old Navy. First, I thought that this would be super cute for Easter. This little romper has a bunch of carrots on it. It seems really comfy too. It's like a little linen material. And then I also grabbed this bodysuit. Has a bunch of little suns on it. These just look really comfy. I always have them in those bodysuits, especially when we're just at home. I also grabbed a gray one. I have a bunch of these in the long sleeve. They're my favorite PJs for him to wear. So cool. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> we are just hanging out, playing on the bed right now. But I wanted to say that this age that he is at right now, he is almost four months. He's four months in a few days is by far my favorite stage that he has been in yet. He is so much fun right now. I always thought that the newborn phase would be my absolute favorite because I'm definitely a cuddly person. I like just hanging out and snuggling a baby. Once he really came into himself and he started smiling and chuckling and moving a lot, it just got so much more fun that now when I look at him, my heart literally flutters right now he's really using his hands so when he's eating he'll like reach for my face he'll keep holding on to my clothes he coos all the time like this and it is just so so much fun every age i think has its own thing that's really special but this stage is so much fun right now i just want to say that if you're currently in the newborn phase and you're enjoying it but maybe it's harder than you thought it was going to be or you just thought it was going to be different just know a lot of people told me that around three months your baby just comes alive and for me it got so so much more fun yeah aiden is off from work now so he just took connor for a walk i feel like that's been our routine to kind of give me a break at night before we do his bedtime routine i am going to plant my flowers i'm going to put in a podcast and just enjoy working with my hands for a little bit and honestly I'm going to take this off because it has gotten pretty warm outside They look so nice outside and now while I have some time to myself I'm gonna make some overnight oats because I've just been struggling with cooking and making quality meals honestly I've just been grabbing a lot of food out and eating random snacks for meals I want to start getting better at eating quality meals like I used to and so I'm gonna go ahead and make these I'm gonna mix these up I think I'm just gonna do some milk Greek yogurt, oats, and then I'll probably put in some peanut butter too, maybe some chia seeds, and then top with some fruit in the morning. Baby is down. You guys, tonight was so sweet. He laughed like a full on belly laugh for the first time. Why am I crying? <laughs> How many times am I gonna cry on my YouTube videos now? It's just so um, special to me because I remember that first month when things were just really hard. I would just cling to these moments that really were so full of joy and so special. And now just doing our bedtime routine and feeling so in sync with him. And I don't know, finally feeling like I'm kind of figuring out this whole mom thing. It was like the other night, I remember I was sitting on the couch and he was just sitting in my lap and I was just eating a bowl of chips and we were just hanging out, the two of us. 
And I remember thinking, I wish that one month postpartum me could see me right now hanging out with my baby. We are both so happy. We both are loving, you know, growing together. And yeah, I'm just so thankful to be where I am at. And I'm so thankful for him. He is truly the best thing that has ever happened to me. And on a lighter note, Aiden is taking cash out, but we just brought home some food. We got burgers from our favorite place. And you know your husband's a winner when you say that you don't want fries. And he goes ahead and orders you some fries. I know it's just because he doesn't want me to eat all of his, but I think we're just gonna watch a show or a movie or something, and then I'm gonna head to bed. Happy Thursday, I haven't started the vlog yet for today. I'm actually at my brother's house right now because him and my sister-in-law just got a kitten. So Connor and I came here to see the kitten. I'm so disappointed though, because I had gotten her a bunch of kitty toys and I totally left them all at home. So thing, whenever you have a baby, you're trying to pack up the diaper bag and get everything that you just forget things a lot more often but he is asleep in the back right now yeah last night was a night so kind of had a low-key morning i'm not sure if he's going through the four month sleep regression or we're also transitioning him out of his love to dream swaddle with his arms out because he's definitely starting to rock and roll a lot more and i will say a positive thing if your baby doesn't sleep a lot it makes things like regressions transitioning out of the swaddle a lot easier because you never get used to these crazy awesome stretches of sleep like six seven 12 hours because that has never been a thing. So I don't really know if this is a regression or if this is just <laughs> another night. Something that has helped me a lot is no matter what kind of night it was, just starting the day and totally forgetting the night, even if it was a great night, not expecting that for the next night, not saying, oh, we're finally at this point. Like every night is gonna be what it's gonna be. You wake up and you just forget it and you go on and life has been so much better since i've done that i follow this account on instagram her username is wilder blessings i think caitlin wilder wilder beginnings and i really really like her page she was actually the one that talked about doing that but i am so thankful that he loves sleeping in the car he loves car rides the first couple of minutes he normally cries a little bit in the car but then once he falls asleep he sleeps so well in the car so you got to count your blessings the things that are positive and i will say sleep has gotten so much better than it used to be so it does get better but again it can also get worse and that's okay too If you guys watched one of my first kind of nesting videos, I organized these drawers so well and look at them now. It is so chaotic. I really need to go through these because a lot of these clothes don't even fit him anymore. He's he's wearing three to six right now. A lot of these are zero to three. I desperately need to go through here and store a lot of these, but that's a project for another day. Last thing I want to do is going through this box of my spring clothes. I want to bring these out and also store some of my warmer clothes since I do think it's pretty much going to stay warmer here. So we're going to see what's in here and then put this in. Good morning, it is Friday. We are about to head off to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna grab some stuff, some groceries that we need. I really wanna make some barbecue chicken non pizzas. I made those when I was pregnant once and they were so good. And I feel like that would be nice to make tonight. Attempting to do this again when he's awake so I can baby wear him, but hopefully he won't fall asleep and he'll stay awake for us. But for today's outfit, here is the outfit for today. I'm wearing this bodysuit that's from Nudes. And then my heart necklace is from Cezanne. And then I'm wearing a name necklace that has Connor on it. That's from Etsy. And then this flannel is from my sister Jamie's closet. <laughs> and shorts are Zara.
here is our Trader Joe's haul. I got one of these Danish Kringles. These are so good. Basically, anytime I see these, I get one because they're so delicious. Have some bananas, some chicken for our pizzas. I'm trying to make it simple, so I just got it pre-made. Crackers, our naan, some sourdough, which I would love to get back into, but sumo oranges. I really like these ABC bars, and I'm trying to just get more stuff that's easy to grab, so I picked up those. Some hold the cone ice creams. I've really been craving ice cream lately. Barbecue sauce for our pizzas, mozzarella cheese for a pizza, some milk, eggs, ran out of paper towels, so grabbed those. Salad, I really like these PB and J bars, so I grabbed those as well as one of these snack duos. A couple of these root beer kombuchas. These are definitely a different taste, but I really like them, so grab those. Some frozen berries, chicken salad, and then this minestrone soup is really delicious. So picked up that. And then for our flowers, they had these really beautiful proteas. I hardly ever see these, but these looked really gorgeous. So grabbed those and then just some filler flowers. And then I don't know what kind of daisies these are, but I thought that those would be pretty in another vase. a bit later connor is taking a nap with aiden right now and i'm gonna make dinner i'm gonna make those non barbecue chicken pizzas that i talked about it's so crazy now eating dinner at five o'clock most nights it feels so early but by the time we put him to bed and everything this is just the ideal window to make dinner so i'll have this recipe linked down below definitely one of my favorites i've only made it once before but it's super easy gonna get started on that and then do our little bedtime routine and it is friday night but we were both pretty tired so not anything crazy going on tonight but so excited to make these and chill for the rest of the evening <laughs> to bed but i just wanted to say good night and thank you guys so much for watching this video it honestly has felt so good getting back into vlogging and creating these videos again it's one of my favorite things ever since i was in middle school <laughs> making these videos it has brought me so much joy and especially just you know getting back to feeling like myself again it has been so refreshing just to bring you guys along and share and do this all again so i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for being here and thank you guys so much for all the support i'm so grateful for you all and i'll catch you guys in my next video